welcome along. How are we all doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, sorry about the slightly late start. I had to double check something. Um, if you are entered in this month's giveaway, you are in with a really, really good chance of winning. Uh, I won't say much more than that, but there are not many people who are entered in this month's giveaway. So yeah, absolutely. Last chance to get in this month's giveaway. You have a really good chance of winning if you get into it. And if we get to 75 viewers tonight, uh, we will do another trick it draw. But um, no Super Luke, end of the stream, I will do the giveaway. Gives everybody a chance to enter during the stream. And possibly we could end up with a, um, a, 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 a ticket draw. Uh, you see, we got, do you know what? We've had more people redeem in the last 30 seconds than we've had for the entire month. Which is just nuts. And that is nuts. Um, right. Shall we see who's here? Rick464, welcome along. Uh, Super Luke 2334, welcome along. Farming Girl 27, welcome along. 123 JCB 13, welcome along. Daniel Kinsberg, welcome along. Dylan 160507, welcome along. Uh, Sloth Farms, welcome along, you baller. Uh, Netsun 19, welcome along. Kubi, welcome along. How you doing? Guys, go check out Kubi. Do I have a thing for Kubi? I don't, I do have a thing for Kubi there. There we go. Go check out Kubi. He swears a bit. But it's all good. Good streamer. Go check him out. Also, go go check out Sloth. I've been watching Sloth Farm stuff. His streams are insane. I don't have. Unfortunately. Ah, that's not going to work. There we go. Not say guys. Oh, well, there you go. Are you, are you are welcome for your shout out, Kiwi. Um, again, go check out Sloth because, yeah, lots of weird sounds in his. His is nuts. Uh, also, a little bit of fruity language. Um, Nimrod, what does the Welcome along. Joker and Tickle, welcome along. Hope you're doing well. Uh, <laughs> no, no problem, Sloth. I enjoyed your stream earlier. It was a little bit mad. Danger Gage, somebody else to go and check out, actually, as well. God, they're all in here tonight. <clears throat> I have got to create a list of people I need to create new buttons for. Um, thank you, YouTube. I am liking the new studio. We are still playing with the lighting. Um, I've added another light to sort of light the back a bit and lift me off it. But there's still a lot of black around here and I just I just need to do it. Uh, um, John Brock, welcome along. Evan J. Hart, welcome along. Today we are going to be on Bessie Beneath. And because we are back to the two PC setup... Uh, we should have some better FPS on here. And we should have some nice, smooth workings on the uh, front loader arms. So, uh, Paul Sinclair, welcome along. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're up to 42 viewers. I am going to kick off a raffle. Uh, and then I'm going to send this over to the live stream. Or the live screen. And then when I'm in a smaller window like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jumper because it's warm in here. I'm going to put it back on later because the temperature's going to drop in this room. But I am too warm at the moment. So we'll get this off. We'll get that off and you can see my wonderful hair. Because I've got too much of that at the moment. Oh, there we go. That's better. Careful. The Merlot, yes. I said, well, we got the Merlot and we got front loader, so. Oh, I really, really, really need a new pair of headphones. These are absolutely screwed. Oh, come on. I've got my eye on a set of 733s, but uh, I don't have the money for them at the moment. Right, let's switch the KVM over to the laptop. Do that. Oh, I'm have to switch it back. It's got, that. got that in the wrong place. There we go. Right, there we go. What's my actual name? My actual name is all over the internet, W. Keen. Here I'm VF, but yeah, you can find it if you're looking for it. Uh, right, do we have something to do with our animals? Uh, yes, we need to go and feed our cows and do a little bit of stuff with the chickens. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Why are the pigs and everything else just under? That's weird. Oh, how are we on the milk? Are we going to sell some milk today? We can sell milk today. Um, the Fibio Concrete, thank you very much. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Uh, thank you very much for the 20 bits. You are awesome. Um, we had a... Yeah, you are awesome, yeah. Thank you for 20 bits. Uh, what else have we got doing here? Dad Bot 11 thank you for the follow. Redwing 2B, thank you for some resubscribing. You are awesome. Um... What have we got? Uh, Adam Soccer, thank you for the follow. Paul Sinclair, thank you for the host. You are awesome. And uh, Matty Ferguson, man, thank you for the host. You are also awesome. I do like that when you're full screening something, it doesn't give the uh, the window sounds anymore, which is pretty cool. Oh, you can tell we're into late spring. Oh, we did that via the... Come on. There we go. Right, so... Look at this. Smooth. Oh, that's so much nicer. What are we getting? 46 FPS? We were getting 15 on this map before. This is so much nicer. And why is the roulette not working? I don't know why the roulette's not working. What is the cow trick? Uh, oh, yeah, the cow trick. So the way to start cows producing milk in seasons start your game as a non-seasons game add your cows add in seasons what was for supper uh fajitas today <coughs> right uh what did i say we need uh we need pretty much everything uh we've only got one thing of hay left Need to look into sorting that. Look how much smoother this is. Uh, but yeah, if you want to, I don't know whether you have to, uh, whether you have to add the cows before, or whether it's just a case of start the game in uh, without seasons. Because that might have been what happened with. Um, Oh, uh, with uh, Sandy Bay. That will go in there at some point. Uh, Cornish Gnome, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Oh, I had so much fun with this this afternoon. So the reason why today's video was so late um, was because I uh, I had issues with both my laptop and my computer uh, and my main PC. So my laptop kept doing, uh, kept shutting down, kept going into sleep mode halfway through me playing, which was just finally sorted out. Um, and then uh, and then I had a whole load of issues with um, uh, with Premiere. I had to upgrade Premiere on here because I had used it for a while, and uh, and then yeah, it just swore at me. <coughs> Thank you, Nimrod. So there you go. Start the game without seasons. Purchase the cows. Make sure you have milk. Then add seasons. And that way the cows will keep producing. Just don't do any crop work. Because obviously all your crops Really enjoying your realism on dogs have got two tractors. Oh, nice. Wow, that diminished, oh, that diminished already. That must have been very low on what was left. Wow, and that's all gone in there as well. See how happy our cows are. So they're full of clover silage. They've got a load of hay. Uh, maize silage and fresh maize. So we're going to have to go get the telehandler for this. Oh, also, land is so cheap. But yeah, it's one of the reasons why it was going to be my original um, survival experiment map. Um, and then Six Ashes came along and it was just gorgeous. Although quite what happened with today's contract on Six Ashes. Don't know. Pretty much summed up the recording. Oh, uh, let's, no. It's 
like muscle memory. It's all come back to me exactly where the buttons are. Which is, you know, absolutely fantastic. Oh, we're going to get, because we're going to put... Uh, because we're going to put water in here, although we're probably going to empty all the water out anyway. I can't remember which button it is. Oh, hang on, we should be able to free up them. Uh, open cover is eight. Ah, no, that's seven. That's six. That's eight. And then refill. Doesn't say. Ah, raffle time. It is indeed 65 viewers, which is awesome. And yeah, these... <coughs> hopefully these streams should go a little bit more um, clear. <coughs> oh, I've got a throg in my throat. It's not good. Uh, well, this is filling up, actually. Let's go get some of Forward a little bit. Right handbrake. Refill. Bring some fresh maize. Yeah. It needs to get out of my throat. I do not want it there. Now we're in late spring. We have to get some manure to our uh, fruit tree. Got two T7s on Dalton. Very nice. Now, this is going to be a dream to drive this. I'll also get back to doing more in cab stuff now that I'm back on the um, thing. Is this Bessie? Yes, this is Bessie Billy. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get into uh, doing more um, in cab stuff now. I tend to, when, I'm, when I've got the wheel and the side panel and everything, I tend to be uh, a little bit more in cab. -y. A dude on this map is a Massey, so another T7 if you get sent uh, we don't need another T7. Although, I, do you know what I saw on the way to dropping kids off at school? And I need to post this on my Discord. Not only did I see um, a modular Landy. So I saw a Landy that had a, um, a truck back on it. Uh, so not, not, a, not a pickup version of a Landy. But actually uh, like a, a, a small truck version of a Landy. Which is brilliant. Um, and got a picture of that because we were stopped at the traffic lights. Um, and then on the back roads this morning, I saw a T7 uh, three, uh, sorry, 245 parked on the side of the road. Got a picture of that. And then, just a little bit further down the road, a T7 Blue Power 315. Oh my god. Is that a beautiful tractor in person? So that must have been an HD at 315 horsepower. That must have been a uh, uh, a, um, a, uh, a an HD T7. It's just yeah. Oh, did that all go in? Uh, no, it's tiny little bit. Trying to take back up top. Oh no, is that tiny? They are eating fast. Oh yeah, that's really... And they were both on trailers. They were both on uh, babies. I'm guessing they were part of uh, the potato harvest. Uh, around that way. It was really cool. Very nice to see them in person. Yeah. Cape Cod blue power, blue power. I know. I quite like. I quite like the blue power we got. I'm, I'm very tempted to go and switch the one we've got here and do paint up the blue power. I need to check if the Dalton. I can't remember if the Dalton DGA has side plates. I'm fairly sure it's a pretty small DGA. It might not. Let 
that empty, and then we're probably going to use that trailer to go and sell some milk. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Are there two on Dalton? I thought there was just the one. Because it's not a big map. It's a nice sunny day on here today. And we, well, actually, we really want to go make some hay if we're going to have a chance. Uh, oh yeah, we wow, we really have chance to make hay. So now would be the time to borrow a little bit of money and go and buy field um, eleven and uh, and go and do some hay. Probably have to borrow the equipment, but that should be alright. NC boy for life, welcome along. We shouldn't need to actually. We shouldn't need to get a tether. We'll just need... Uh, do we still need a new baler? Or did we buy a baler? I can't remember if we bought the new baler or not yet. Oh yes, we did, because we got the case. So we got the baler. We just need a windrower and a mower. And uh, and we can go and do field 11. And, uh, and get ourselves some... Um, yeah, we might try and do that today as well. Um, the, uh, the one that we're using to, uh, the smaller one. I'm thinking of doing the smaller one as a blue power. Hello, DadBot11. Welcome along. Hope you enjoy the stream. I bought the Baylor, yes, I bought the Baylor because I bought it back on the Merlot. You're right. So, uh, look at this. I am already this stream. I have played more in cab than any stream in the past two months. People are always complaining. Oh, it's the real living experiment. You don't, uh, you don't do that. Don't I have the vi I might, I might have a mower. Do I have a mower? Oh yes, I do have a mower. You're right. Oh, we have a field that we've cut, don't we? That we're turning to hay already. Hello, Andy the farmer. Welcome along. We're up to 70 viewers. Five more viewers. And we will start the ticket draw for this evening. And, yeah, it's a good drying day. Uh, that is good for everything except straw. So we need to go and get T7. Got a rear, not a front. Yeah, but that's fine. We can carry everything with the rear. We've got the time. We've got to go and I think we've got one crop left to drill. Oh, no, we've got the... Um, we need to go and get the... Before we get the straw going... We need to get we use that T7 that we need to get the other one doing the seeding. So we gotta go and get that sugar bee too. Because we've got a split field at the moment. Although no, I don't want to change my other one to a blue power because it's got the nice um, Union Jack on it, which I'd say actually the, the, the non-blue power T7 I saw today that had um, uh, that had uh, Union Jacks on it. So it was it was basically it's almost my setup I've got here that was that was going on. Later, Paul. Thanks for joining us. Uh, can you leave grass? Uh, no, you can't leave grass in a pit because it turns to chaff. So fresh maize you can leave in a pit. Grass, I don't think you can. And still feed it to the cows. In fact, don't, uh, we did have a pile of it, but um, yeah. But no, because it would if it counted as grass, it would diminish. I think fresh maize you can keep anywhere, to be honest, if I remember correctly. That's not that good. With Maze Plus, I think you can. Really? Oh, well, I might have to test that. Probably all of our pits are currently... Well, currently have stuff in them. Hmm. 
I wonder if it classes it as uh, as um, grass chaff or something like that, JCB. Yeah, you can you can put grass in there, but I don't know if it would keep. Whether it would rot. Right, now you have to do continue from last time. And cannot remember. So I want to see. Yeah, it's the top end of this. So the sugar beet has started to grow. We're going to have half a field that's ready further than the other half. Uh, but that's all right. Right, so. Unfold. If I can remember the button. Ah, got the wrong one. There we go, that one. And then switch. That one. Bring it in. Line it up. Starting from here. So, nearest. Right, cool. And that is off. So, yeah, we've got a load, as I said, we've got a load of sugar meat to be ready before the rest, but that's okay. Germination is good. And uh, that brings us to the top of this field. Yeah, si yeah, silage grass and then fermented silage. That would make, that would make sense. Um, and as a result, I don't think you can feed silage grass because they take grass, not silage grass, whereas they take fresh maize. And I don't think this is silage maize. I think it's just fresh maize. Uh, right, we were sorting this out. Uh, oh yeah, we need to go and get. Uh, we might have some straw actually. Yeah, this is the reason why I didn't want to do this as a blue part because we have the Union Jack. We might go for a blue power HD. I think that's going to be my next upgrade is going to be uh, the T-Dub going and us going up to a, an AT. Oh, I want to get rid of the Abbey today as well because I have enabled something cool on here. Can you guess what it is now that I can use it? Now that the, now that the, uh, the pack has been announced, and because I saw one on the back of a T7 round by me, I've really got to grab one. If I can afford it, that's the trouble. Yeah, ha! Huh? I want to have the roll of. Ooh. That's empty. Let's move this out of the way. Um, what we want to do, actually, we want to go and put this ready to get milk. Oh, actually, yeah, milk. 18,000 litres of milk is worth how much at the moment? So milk is not great at this time. Oh, wow, really? What's the reason for the nosedive in the milk? Wow, we will not be selling milk today. I like the in-game one, but the single action. Ah. <sighs> wow, I cannot believe that that has taken that much of a nosedive. We're going to have to keep an eye on that price. Actually, this can actually 
Where do you find uh, drive control? Uh, I've got the advanced vehicle control add-on. Or the vehicle, uh, so the vehicle control add-on is what it is. It's available from the motor. That is... Uh, I don't know, maybe I have to be in the vehicle. That's this. This is the vehicle control add-on. Which uh, is what gives me all of my... Um, stuff. Hello, Bujersi boy. Welcome along. How goes it? Okay, well, that's filling up. Let's go blow some straw. Yeah, not selling milk today. Although that does mean the farm is all go now. Do need to go spray. Uh, I stopped with my Lone Oak series at, uh, at video, uh, vlog 4 because I couldn't get the recording and the setup and everything to work on it. I've since then worked, uh, worked out much better. Plus what I was doing with the Lone Oak series was I was trying to edit those, um, I was trying to edit those videos. Oh god, it took me forever to edit them. What I, what I really need is an editor for, um, for my live stream pod. Um, because at the moment I'm just putting them up, 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 them up unedited. Um, it would be cool to edit these down and, uh, and you know, uh, not put the full VODs up, but I, I just don't have the ability or the time to do it. Well, I have the ability because I can edit. But um, I, don't, I don't have the time to sit down and, and edit it. Basically, to edit one of these VODs would mean that I um, I didn't do uh, two videos. Yeah, I'd rather have them all and speed up. Good idea. Um, I might try and start putting some overlays over and stuff. So encouraging people to come here to, to Twitch to watch live and things like that. Um, uh, with an overlay. Just do a, a little bit of editing to clean up. But uh, in general, I am... Um, yeah, I'm not looking to... But to be honest, I need to catch up with their releases. I've got, I've got to sit down at some point and just go through and list everything in the backlog and get it up. Because we are about, well, we're a lot of episodes behind in this series. Um, but if I can get seven hours a week, we'll catch up in no time. Uh, if I do gas silage, keep a little bit of maize back. Sell the maize silage, that would work. Yes. Yeah, that would work. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, as I as I mentioned on Twitter this week, I am uh, holding back the Northern Coast series until the farming agency version of that map comes out. It's currently working its way through testing. Uh, I think it would be a much better story if Eddie had the full access to all of the uh, all of the crops, and we did a full Maze Plus series on that, uh, especially as we're not doing Maze Plus on Six Ashes. Uh, yeah, it's, I, uh, I announced it on Discord, I announced it on Facebook, and I announced it on Twitter. Uh, just just so that everybody knew why uh, at the weekend we end up with two Six Ashes videos. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to have to... Plus, I ended up, um, we ended up having no videos last weekend because of various things happening. Um, and, and then no video yesterday. Uh, so it, it meant that in order to make sure that Six Ashes was also in the right place, it needs to have four videos this week. So uh, it should be on. It should be on Twitter and Facebook. I definitely posted it there. I posted it to Twitter first. I'm actually thinking of getting my announcements channel in my Discord to repost uh, stuff from Twitter. So if I post something on Twitter, it would also post on uh, on there. Or whether to do it as a separate channel. I might ask my mods what they think. Um, but that way I, I can 
make sure that everything I, I post on Twitter makes it through to everybody on DOS Discord. Free for contracts. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, selling the silence is a good idea. Oh, there we go. So much nicer when that moves fluidly. Evening, Mark Caesar. Welcome along. Oh, we are on 74 viewers at the moment. One more viewer and I'll start the ticket draw. I'm thinking of bringing the happy dance back. Um, and I have a specific target for the happy dance. And I'm considering bringing a uh, brand new Combine Harvester back. Um, because there are two things that uh, that you guys can... Well, there's something that light lights that you guys can control to get those things working. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think, I think you might. I think silage would be a good idea. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silage, silage would be a good idea. Oh, yes. No, I know what you mean, Adam. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. It's 70. Oh, we've got to get no more capacity. That's done. Is Lone Oak a good map? Yes, Lone Oak is a very good map. Uh, especially if you like big uh, American style stuff. Lone Oak is a really nice map. Uh, I have two go-to American maps at the moment. Well, I'll put it—I'll put it to you guys. So, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna introduce uh, with the new layout is we're gonna have a target number of subs a stream. And what I'm thinking is, if we hit five subs, I'll do the happy dance. And if we hit ten subs, I'll sing. I've got a brand new combine nuts. What do you guys think? It's something that everybody can affect. It's uh, so it's it's like the likes uh, in on YouTube. Uh, it's like everybody can an affect. My only concern is that it's it's something that, that has to be paid for, but it it'd be a cheaper way to get combine harvester, um, and it's more of a Twitch thing that. And I'm not trying to set it too high because I don't want it to be... So someone could come in and give 10 subs and, and that would get both. Yes, gifting gifting subs would absolutely count. Yeah, so if somebody came in and gifted 20 subs, I'd do the happy dance and then I'd sing I've got a brand new Combine Harvester. Basically. Right. So we've got the mower. Uh, day's been good, thank you, Patrick. Fair sounds good. It's it's the one thing because there aren't there's nothing like likes or anything like that. The only other thing would be if we uh, a hype train, but that takes so much more coordination to get to work. And I want it to be something that's reachable to everybody. Twice for 20. I don't know. Well, well, we'll see how it goes. If it turns out that we're, it's going a bit crazy, we might have to raise it a bit. Right, how much is this field? We've got 42,000, I think. If we want this field, it is 112. 102 for field 7. Ooh. 64 for field 50. Okay, the seats do as well. And the floor does. Hello, Farmer's Tube. Oh, that's cool. 
See, this is the thing. I want to make sure I have a field close to my farm or part of my farm. So that would be our best bet or our cheapest bet then would probably be 45, wouldn't it? Or 50. How do we access 50? I think we access from the roads though, don't we? Yeah, because we've got our woodland. So 50 would be access from the road. It's a little bit detached from our farm. But it would be the cheapest, and it is nearly, yeah. Okay, and we'd have to borrow the least, and, and we don't need a huge amount. It's on a track, is it? Let's go round and have a look at Field 50. I think that's probably a good choice. It would mean that we'd borrow 20-odd thousand, 25,000 to get it. What about field? I'd like field 11, but field 11 is 112,000. We would have to borrow well over 50,000 to get it. I'd rather work up to it, to be honest. Field 50 is this one around here, which is not huge. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. That's no good. Access to it is via... Oh, no, actually. Uh... Yeah, it's via the road here. So that is this field here, which would be pretty good. Get it and make half arable and half grass. I what, field 11? Well, we'll probably be able to... I said this about last year. What is what is our current loan on here? Yeah, so this would take us up to 250. We'd still be under 300,000 if we got field 11. Oh, that's weird. It's a little bit disconnected from our farm. Loans loan, honey covers it. That's true. Yeah, let's let's go and uh, let's borrow some money and uh, go and do that. And we've got we've got money coming in from uh, from milk now as well. I get eleven. Yeah, so we'll go and get eleven. You've taught me into it. We'll get eleven. Thank you for the follow, BMTZ0519. Welcome to the BFN. We've, we've, we've hit the numbers. We've hit the numbers. We've hit the numbers. Time to create and start the gear build, uh, start the ticket draw. You have one hour in which to enter. Right, let's back this up. Uh, we need to buy this field. So, we need to take our loan up to uh, 112,000. Oh, is that going to be enough? Or are we going to have to borrow a little bit more? How close are we? Oh, really? <laughs> We've got for another 5,000. 
Let's round this up to 300,000 then. Give ourselves a little bit of extra cash. Buy Field 11. Uh, Debco, uh, English only, please. Uh, because, unfortunately, I am uncouth and don't speak any other language. Three cuts of hay is a lot, yes. Well, we could possibly do silage on him. Uh, that's the thing. Right. I don't think I've connected up my PTO, have I? There we go. And, and away we go. Try and keep this out of the hedge. Need to speak to Dusty Dave and see if um, the uh, grazing is set up on here. So that field there, the last field we've got, that is going to be our core. When is Bessie coming to console? Soon, W. Keen. Uh, I, as DJ says, none of us know when a map or a mod is going to come to console uh, or released on PC. Even um, that is completely up to how it uh, how it goes through testing and giants. Hello, uh, Stepquick. Welcome along. Yeah. Nobody knows. Nobody can tell you. Oh, our T7220 is finished. We'll have to get to the end of this field and then we're going to bring that back. We can get that doing the um, corn now. Switch that over and get the corn done. We'll be good. And then that will be all of our crops planted, uh, ready for later in the year. Uh, Stepgood, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. And Sarge, the Kiwi Gamer, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN as well. Just gonna turn this tractor. We're gonna have to go and refuel that tractor. Doop -doop -doop. I cannot speak to you if I do not understand what you're saying. Should be down that bottom corner. Yeah, it is. I'm amazed it missed the gate. Imagine that road you were just on with motion chair. Oh, wow. Oh, God. That would just be... I'd be sick everywhere. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Really immersive though. Okay. Uh, oh, stop driver. Clear course. No. Nope. Switch to the mid one. Yeah, there we go. At the field we go. Yeah, it wasn't able to get around the back of the gate. Not the end of the world though. Because that is an annoying corner, so. Right, so we're going to switch this out for the corn. Uh, turn, yeah, I can turn the music down a little bit. Oh, no. What would help is if I actually switch to the right machine. Uh, very bad words. Okay.
How's that? Uh, yeah, drop me a drop me a PM, JCB. I'm interested to see what he said. Uh, and okay. Oh, I still have to get later, Sarge. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Oh yeah, I've added the crows into this. I haven't added the crows into um, uh, in six ashes. I need to do that because I missed that earlier. It's it's got to. The, I've only had the crows in this save game, and I missed the crows while I was playing six ashes. Okay. Hey, GD. Uh, we got somebody who may be swearing in a prop foreign language. Could you have a look? Thank you. Go check out Gamer Dragon, by the way, guys. He is awesome. Bring the hammer. Got two fields of corn on Dalton. Two grass, one alfalfa, two canola. Makes straw. Yeah. Right. Okay. Open that up. Unload it. That's not going to be Oh, that's fine. We just need to move the... Oh, it's going to be easier to move the um, seats today as well. Tell me what he said. Let's have a look. No. After that time, we had that horribleness in the Discord right here. Wow! That's, um... Very nice, yeah, very nice words, Jason B. <laughs> wow. Hey, would you, why, 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 why come into somebody's stream and say something like that? And then not think you're going to find out just because you're saying it in a foreign language. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Let me, uh, let me allow that. People are crazy. There we go. Well, there are a few. There's always, there's always idiots. There are always idiots about. I, 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 most of the time, most of the time, it makes me laugh because, quite frankly, if that's if that's all you're going to spend your spare time doing, <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? Thank you, GD. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Nightbot is Nightbot is pretty good at handling most stuff. <laughs> That's all right, GD. Thank you very much. Right, let's get into here. Last crop we got to do is maize, I think. So let's get that hooked up. Uh, that's the maize. We have so many bags of sunflowers left. Okay. 
can we get both of these things in there? Over in one go. Oh god. I, after, after two months of keyboard and mouse, this is glorious. This is, uh, this is so nice. Ridiculously nice. Still full of sugar beet. Oh, because it's in the back. There we go. Now, don't fill the sugar beet, please. So I don't know if you have to really plant alfalfa. No, you don't. Alfalfa is like grass. Later, WK. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so we're giving away a copy of the uh, Fool Guys tonight in a farm sim stream. Um, we next month's giveaway is going to be a copy of the Alpine DLC. Uh, so uh, yeah, the Alpine Farming DLC, that is next month's giveaway. Uh, we're gonna do one, uh, we're gonna do one next month and we're gonna do one in, uh, in November as well. And then Christmas, uh, we'll see how things go, but I wanna do a, uh, a, a special Christmas giveaway. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. Galcom Gamer, thank you for gifting three months of Tier One to Grizzly Twenty Twenty. You are awesome. Come on. be able to go that extent. There we go. We're going for Dalton as well. Yeah. yeah. That takes, wow, that takes Galcom up to 40 for this month. You sir are awesome. That's, oh, no, that's not straight. This is this is a much much better experience. I wish I could find out what it is. That is, there is something still causing a frame rate drop on this map. So, for example, six ashes. I have no frame rate drop at all. Six ashes, I go up to like 70, 80 FPS. Um, this map, this map, I in the farmyard, I'm getting like 27, 28, uh, and going up to to 40 odd. Uh, and then, um, and then we yesterday we were going 40, 50 FPS all the time on uh, on thingy on uh, on Sandy Bay. Uh, done year seven on Bessie with realism. What map do you think is next to move to? Wow, Fibio, nice. Uh, well, not nice you're isolated, but uh, Raven White, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Uh, what, what map to do next? Six Ashes, actually. Six Ashes is an awesome map. I'd recommend that to anybody. Right, this does not need fuel. Oh yeah, no, it's it's smooth. It's looking nice and we are getting... I'm now going up to 30s. As soon as I'm out of the yard, I'm getting a nice level of FPS. And we're back up to 60 FPS as well. Because we're now... because. 
the only thing the main machine has to handle is is the rendering and OBS. Everything's nice and smooth on that. Uh, wait for Maze. Oh, yes. Maze Plus on Six Ashes. Yes. Uh, as I said, I'm not planning to do Maze Plus on Six Ashes because I want to restart. Unless I get to the end of the first year and I still have a grass field. <laughs> In which case, I might, uh, I might go year two and move everything across. Uh, but yeah, it's not far off. Um, same with Little Norton. Little Norton, the Maze Plus on that is uh, is not far off either. Right, we want this to finish here. On this, so course generation field six. Uh, two headlands, clockwise, up, down, smooth. Yep, generator. <laughs> Start at the far corner. Keep it off for silage sake. Lord Victor, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. I my your channel was recommended to me this afternoon, and I'm gonna have to. I've not followed you yet. I need to go and follow you and check you out. Um, because yes, you you have been recommended to me. So uh, I want to check your channel out. I need to check your channel out. When do you stream, Lord Victor, if you're about? Ah, cool. Yeah, I wanna come out I wanna come and check out one of your streams. So uh yeah, let me let me know when you stream and I wanna I wanna come and check out. Right, uh we need to fold out all of this. Like so. And drive. Perfect. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, which is five hours from now. Oh, that's 3 a.m. 3 a.m.? No. Late. We're getting your head around Maze. Oh, Maze Plus. I do love Maze Plus. And I... It's, and I'm using it on here without actually having the crops because I love Maze Plus. Um, I'm not using it on Six Ashes because I'm... I am still live, aren't I? Why is that showing my channel schedule? Yeah, very late. I will, I will have to come and... I'll see if you're still on when I get up in the morning because I tend to get up very early. Yeah, so I, I wonder. Yeah, that's weird. I tried. I tried to press the accelerator to walk forward. Uh, uh, yeah, my 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 screen was showing um, <laughs> was just showing my uh, start screen. Which was very weird. During the week, you're only Okay. I will have to see if I'm up late enough one night and uh, and pop in. Uh, really? Really? You went and found the only tree. Course play. You went and found the only tree in the hedge. Yeah, 1 a.m. our time. I, I am sometimes up that late. Ugh. Hello, Moose. How you doing, Moose? This is this is the downside to the realism experiment. The whole I've got to run everywhere. Cosplay. If there's a tree in your head, you can find it.
Right, put on the indicator, please. And again. Okay, that looks like that's going on the right bit. Is it going to catch it all? Yes, it is. Let me turn that off. Jump out. And check you're not going to hit that tree. Hello, Hazmat7520. I'm doing well, thank you. And that is very kind of you to say. Neither had an issue with cosplay. <laughs> Um, I do have, uh, I do have the faster fuel set up on here, so, uh, I do run through fuel quicker anyway. I don't, I don't think it's been any quicker than, um, than any of the others, to be honest. It's, it's running a fairly, uh, decent, fairly decent amount. <laughs> oh, you are an awesome streamer, GD. But you don't just do farm sim. Mind you, I don't just do farm sim. So I just do mainly farm sim. Right, let's get this field of hay cut. Seeing as we actually have sunshine long enough to do this. Uh, we are going to have to start doing some spraying soon though. If we've got something to germinate. <laughs> Sloth Farms! Thank you for subscribing at tier one. You subscribed for five months, you fool. Thank God I was able to use September so nearly missed it. Yeah, it is September. And interesting. Do you know what actually? Okay, I'm going I'm to level with you guys. It's September. It is my lowest level of subscribers this year. It's September, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I think COVID is biting into everybody. But yeah, it's it's funny. But I'm honest with you guys. I let I let you know what's going on. Same, that was quite bad. One release on my tub and one in time. Yeah. This is so we're down to half a tank. It's not going down any faster or slower than any of the other tractors we're using. Really. It's uh, it's just you know. It's just working, which I like, because it's a nice track. It works well. Should be able to start turning these corners. So I play on console or PC, mainly on police, uh, mainly on PC. Um, I do have both a, um, I do have both a PlayStation 4, which is hooked up to my setup here and an Xbox which isn't because I um, I actually ended up uh, disliking Farmsim. <laughs> great thank you for subscribing at Tier 1. You've been subscribed for five months. You like the no plate edition? Ah, oh, that's a different tractor, isn't it? Then, because this one doesn't come with that non plate. You see, tonight I think we'd have a happy dance under what I was talking about earlier. I think we'd be doing a happy dance. At the moment. It's whether you count a three month gift as three subs or a um, three subs or, or a single sub. That that would be my only thing. I, it depends on how. I suppose it depends on how uh, the target counts. Really? No. 
because I can't be sure. And it would be something that would start next month with the new design. Because the new design will display it, so... It'll, uh, it'll be something that comes in with that. I think we'll have to launch the new design before I get the new camera in. As much as I want to. Uh, as much as I want it to all come together, I just don't see myself getting the uh, shelves and the background and everything built before then. So, yeah. It's good to see that track. Good to have a well with we're, we're, we're 300. And we have a hype train incoming. The hype train is leaving the station. Everybody jump on board. We are currently filling the first carriage. Irish Farmer 1975. Thank you for subscribing at tier one. You've been subscribed seven months. You are awesome. Welcome along, Irish Farmer. How you doing? By adding lighting, no offense, but pretty dark. Uh, I am, I keep adjusting the lighting. My trouble is I don't want to look too washed out. Uh, and there'll be lighting behind as well. So the new shelves, I've got, I've got strip lighting and everything to, to do some nice subtle uh, behind lighting. I'm trying to pull myself off the background. Uh, and just sort of learning my new lighting setup and everything. Because the, the main room lights are too bright. No is short. Uh, yeah, no short for number. Oh, right. Sorry, got you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. I'm being stupid, Evan. I'm being stupid. That's horrible sound. And the hype train has had its first carriage filled. All aboard carriage two. Gamer Dragon, thank you for gifting two tier one subs to the community. You are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Welcome to the subscribers. Matt Ferguson and Aaron J. Nicholson. And Sloth Farm, thank you very much for the 95 little minis. You are a baller, sir. Heard anything about the slowing update? Uh, I haven't. Um, this is the slowing update that I'm playing at the moment. Um, it has been going through testing. I probably should ask Dusty Dave as to what the situation is. I'm guessing if it, it, it may, it may be just working its way through the testing. Quite possibly, and most likely. I'm going to try and square the center of the field. Now. There we go. Yeah, we're going to get a nice amount of pay off. Not a fan. I'm not a fan of doing in cab cutting because I can't see much. <laughs> I know roughly where I want to be. I think, but uh, yeah, it's not the easiest of things to do. So I'm going to try. I'm gonna, we, I never learn things in farm sim if I don't go and do them. So let's do it and work out roughly where we want to be to do this properly. And be a little bit more realistic about it because it's the realism experiment. And we are trying to uh, to do exactly that. A bit more realism. Plus, I like being inside the cab of this tractor. It is very nice. Isn't it? Yeah, we're good. We're good. This is driving me nuts, not knowing exactly where I am. If I had the front one on, it would be slightly easier to just line up the front one. 
Also, from behind, I, I move the mouse less to try and watch things. Uh, uh, yeah, GPS in cab is easier, true. Uh, but this is such an odd-shaped field, I won't be GPSing with this. Uh, if, if I had the front mower, I would GPS it. <laughs> no fenders. I tried to do a new favorite thing to do. I like my tractors without fenders on them. What can I say? It's a classic look. Right, now this is going to be a fun one because we have to lift to get around the other side of this. They spin around and come back when you have enough room once you've done a few headlands. Yeah, it's a, it's a triangular field because otherwise I would do that. Also, I, I'd have to drive on the grass to do that. Which is what I'm trying to avoid doing. I think eventually we're going to want field 26. Thank you, Irish Farmer 1975, for the 94 bit cheer. You are awesome. Uh, I don't know, you just uh, never really tried it. It's, uh, oh. I mean, the, the nice thing about this is that it's a lot easier to, to turn around. Successfully filled the first carriage and 66% of the second carriage. I also collect, I collected all of the um, level one emotes. Wow. So you pop to put a skip through uh, and then goes one side down the other. Yeah. Oh, what? So he just he just drives through. So basically, what you're saying is I should now line myself up here, get on the 180. That's 180. No, so I want to be on that angle there. Set my first point. I did have this on there. Hang on. Ah, oh, this has a spread setting. For one strip, yeah. Okay, so we've got we've got GPS on. Ah, okay. Right, okay. We've got GPS on now. So we'll line ourselves. Set our first point. Yeah. Set our second point. All right. Move further. Ah, oh, no, I reset it. Set my width. No, 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 no. Whatever you're... No, that's just a mess. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, 1999, 85. Uh, tour will happen when I've, uh, when I've finished setting it up. At the moment, we've only got the desk set up. Um, I want to finish... I want to get all the shelves and everything in and then we'll... Uh, yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to sort my GPS. Out. Aim for it to be straight. Yeah. I might go and clean that up in a minute and cut through.
Uh, yeah, this is Bessie Beneath. I am on field 11. I need to, yeah, I need to, I, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to. I'll do is I'm going to take one more row here and then no no we won't do that. I'm going to open this up oh the last one was meant to happen at 3,000 subscribers on YouTube and I am at 22 nearly 23 uh, what map am I playing on? This is Bessie Beneath. The awesome Bessie Beneath by Dusty Day. Right, let's line up here. I think it was I, I think it was getting confused with the offset. Is what happened. Now, we've got to cut it. Just keep that up. 23k. Almost 23k. Unless it's jumped up by about 400 uh, subs in the last two hours. Uh, it's we, we were at 22.6 today. We went up another 100, yeah. I would like to see... Um, one of GB's what in the realism experiment? I, I, the survival experiment very much is uh, is doing this kind of thing uh, in video series. It's uh, yeah, only only our days are shorter. We've only got uh, we're doing those at ten times, not five times. So uh, yeah. They go quick. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to getting onto year two of that because we're really going to hit our stride year two on uh, on six ashes. And a continuation of this, like, uh, yeah, we'll have to see because the next map. So we tend to do three years on a realism experiment map. The next map is probably going to be Chellington at this rate. Uh, I think. It's the one I'm eyeing up is Chellington Valley, I think. Depending on when Chellington Valley comes out. Although I do love this map. I uh, I would be I would be happy to be on here, but I just I can't not play Chellington properly. And it's it's one of my favourite the, the the original Chellington expanded in the fifteen is one of my favourites. But on the other hand, I love Bessie Beneath. As I said, as I said many times before, I feel like I run a farm on this map. Hello, uh, Pablo S13. I roughly understand what you're saying. Good evening, how you going? Uh, local land, obviously, yeah, Oxys are normally quite high, so it would have to be a continuation of this. It couldn't be a brand new start of the realism experiment. We, we just wouldn't have the money to get anywhere on that. Uh, we'd be selling a really quite, well, very profitable farm here and, uh, and, and moving over there. I'm, uh, I'm expecting to have field, well, I want to expand uh this year it's 26 and probably into field eight as well yeah i want to expand out towards field two so we've got a lot of money to raise but as our farm gets bigger we will raise more money so you don't want me to start on this game ever <laughs> oh thank you evan
eventually work our way up to a nice big American farm <laughs> that we've got a ton of money to get to, to do. Uh, Bedfordshire, yeah. I need to I need to do a load of farm sim work over the next I need to get I need to get all these VODs listed. I need to get uh, I need to get various bits of pieces of information together. I need to plan the uh, the new series that's gonna be on the northern coast because it'll be good if I plan it. It won't be so good if I don't. Um, still still trying to think of exactly the reason why Eddie has gone to to northern um, to the northern Irish coast, but I uh, yeah I have a I have a good inkling. Oh, Red Dirt County is an awesome map, and I need to I need to do a first look at it, Lord Victory. I really do. Absolutely do. It's. Uh, You are a hype train conductor, GD. <laughs> I never got an American map for continuation of this. Uh. Well, we're going to do the Alpine farming map for the next multiplayer. So that that is that is our next map change in November. Um, we're going to leave Sandy Bay behind. And we're it's not going to be a realism experiment. It's just going to be... We'll probably have a far more to... And, uh, and and we will uh, we'll go and, and work our way up and build up and probably be lots of small machinery. I think my, my plan is to probably have two of each bit of kit to do seasons and to have a mixed farm and to try and have all the animals and everything and get everything to so we have a nice a nice thing where you know we're always busy where there's always something to do on. Which probably means we're going to have small equipment and a lot of fields. Hey, Dusty Dave, how's it going, my friend? We were talking about you a minute ago. Because we were on your awesome map. Lots of people asking about the uh, progress of uh, this version and the uh, console version. Because <laughs> this map's awesome and people want to play it. Anyway, I hope you're doing well, Dee Dee. It wasn't nice. I only have nice things to say. Because I am enjoying the hell out of this. Especially, especially now we're actually able to play it at a proper FPS. I am just loving this. with my monitors though because I'm cutting off a little bit of my view of that left. I mucked around with all my stuff with my, uh, with my laptop today. Laptop is not in the most accessible place. Which is gonna be fun when the FSL starts up again and have to attract. But then that's that's why I want a um, that's why I want to build a dedicated gaming machine. A second PC. Being run off your feet work seven days a week. Wow. Excellent. There we go, everybody. So now you know. Off that thing. That's not bad, actually. We've got this. We've got this field done by mid-afternoon, or yeah, well, early afternoon actually. So that will be uh, plenty of this nice sunny day remaining for us to go right. I'm going to need to get a windrow next. There's a fellow windrow, but I think it might be a bit big. Isn't there one in? There's a windmill in the Cumberland. 
do you need two PCs for two monitors? Um, no, my main PC runs on three monitors. So I've got main monitor here. I've got uh, I've got OBS and everything running on there, and then I've got the stream and Twitch and everything over there. So I can see everything is is running as it should. My laptop actually is coming onto my screen virtually. Um, so it, it comes through OBS and then I output the source from OBS on my main monitor and control everything through that. And then I've got a KVM switch that switches my uh, mouse and keyboard between the two PCs. Um, the reason why I want a, a, a specific gaming PC uh, is because my laptop is the one that I travel with when FSL starts picking up again. Um, I'm going to need to be able to take the laptop probably on a monthly basis away. And then I've got to extract it from all the cables and everything, which is not going to be good. So, um, yeah. And uh, and also, if I, ha if I get something with a, a 3080 in it and something like that for, for, the, for the gaming rig, there will be no FPS issues at all. And it will be it will be built and installed with pretty much just Steam on it. Because uh, my main machine with its, uh, its twenty nine hundred, uh, no no, um, yeah, my Ryzen in it, um, uh, and uh, and uh, the twenty seventy can handle all my editing and everything. Later, GD. Guys, as I said earlier, go and check out Gamer Dragon. He is an awesome guy and an awesome streamer and well, well worth your time. Am I going to build a PC? Yeah, so the plan is to, to, to build a PC at some point in the new year. And, uh, as, you know, and it's all part of the improvements uh, of wanting to do the improvements thing. Because, uh, to be perfectly honest, for me, just playing games... I don't need to do that. I do not need to build a PC. For me, constantly looking to give you guys the best experience in my streams, that's why I want to do it. It's, uh, it, is, it is always, always about how can I improve these streams? How can I make this viewing experience better? And, and that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, the budget is about £2,000. So that's that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, should be doable, especially with the prices of the new um, uh, of the new uh, graphics cards. So yeah, two two K should cover it because it won't be it won't be much more than a processor and a um, uh, and uh, 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 and a video card. Uh, GB Mudding, thank you for the host. You are awesome. And welcome along. How you doing, GB? Uh, gotta go later, Massy Ferguson, man. Later, Cornish Gnome. Thanks for joining us. Right, there we go. Turn it off. Fold it up. Uh, yes, I mentioned owning a field for storing equipment and possibly putting potato washer and stuff and doing demos to show off some equipment. Uh, yes, could do that. Voxel Bull has entered the monthly giveaway. Uh, you've got about, well, we'll probably go till 11 tonight, I think. Because it's summer and there's lots to do. We should probably go and have a look at the honey. But I'm not sure we've, uh, yeah, we'll probably go and see if we can get the one of the honey crates and um, we can go and check on the uh, status of our stuff down there as well won't pay off the loan yet as the bees cover the yeah yeah no I'm not looking to pay off the loan yet Evan. we're 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 easily covering the uh, the payments for the loan so I'm not worried about that no. and the bees are producing more than we can do just finish your first post for the UFO Ooh, nice. I I know I posted that I'm going to do a, a first look at um, the new map that's on there. I will get that done this week. I want to do it tomorrow morning. If I can get out tomorrow morning, that would be good. 
But I really want to go and have a look at that, that new map that's on there, because it does look awesome. Let's get this tractor on point while we're here. Send you a bit of what uh, they're going to be like. Yeah. I mean, we can transfer things across, so that's all we did. God, that's a gorgeous tractor. I'm not sure I have any. Uh, do I have the T7 HD mod on here? I drove me tracker to your race that car. Thank you, Cal. I threw me pitchfork at your dog to keep quiet. Who who are are now something's telling me that you've been avoiding me. Who are you? Are? Come on now, darling. You've got something I need. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Evening, Come Hammerhead now, 81. Let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. <laughs> she made me laugh. <laughs> Tell Cameron, welcome you along. If you How are you doing? Need. Who are you? Are. We'll have twins and triplets. I think I, think I will leave this. Speed. Sound so if somebody I'll does want to darling. get it, they can. So give me your hand. Uh, Who are but, uh, yeah. I want we'll the most? We'll do the live version again. Those acres of land. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 yeah, acres and, you're spread up. and you got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Wow, she's a lovely bit of stuff and all. For seven long years, I've been alone in this place. Who are you? Sleep in the kitchen. It's a proper disgrace. Need to who get are you? Now, if I clean it up, done. would you change your mind? Who are you? I'll give up drinking scrumpy and that <laughs> lager and lime. Because I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Oh. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Who loves you, baby? Uh, uh, weren't we a grand couple at that last version of the I wore my brand new gaiters and my corduroy pants in your new Sunday dress. With your perfume smelling grand, we had our photos took and us sold in hands. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Now that we're both past the 50s, I think that you and me should stop this gallivanting and will you marry me? Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Thanks for playing the sound alert. Who are you again? Yeah, I don't know how to close. Thank you, Galcom Gamer, for playing the sound alert. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can do it now. There we are. Yeah, I don't know why that was open. O and D. O and D. Okay. O and D? D is turn uh, right. Not sure this front weight actually washes. Oh no, there we go. I think the front weight needs repair. Unless we did not buy it like that. We 
We'll go and uh, see if we can sort that front weight out in a bit. I think something's gone wrong with that. We've lost a texture. Maybe it got updated and, uh, and, and that needs updating. Ah, that's always the same possibility. Um, got ya. Right, so this into the shed. Oh no, the back one's still dirty. Bring it right in here. Like like that shiny summer, but either that or it's it's lost all its paint. You love my wash station? I do like where we got the wash station actually. It works really, really well on this map putting it in there. Just a little bit out of the way and a little bit uh you know, but still accessible to everything. There we go, that's got it. And the cable is just far enough to reach anything that's just outside the area. Yeah, there's the bayonet. Right, This is just a cultivator on its own now. Storm, how's it going? Hi, Jody lad. Welcome along. How much longer have we got on the... Oh, we're about to finish off the ticket giveaway. It's ticket giveaway. Hey, Ian Roberts. Hey, sexy. How's it going? <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to have a look at this. Right. Last ticket giveaway of this month. So let's go and do it. Ah, so you're having a nice feet up and relax, Ian. Nice. Right, let's pause this here. Switch over. Because it is time. To close the giveaway. Love all the setup via the bailer. Yeah, the, the trouble is the bailer that I wanted doesn't work properly. Or doesn't work in the... Sorry, doesn't work in the... No, it doesn't work properly, actually. Uh, right, let's draw a winner. Let's see who has won it is. Dun, dun, dun. Evan J. Hart, congratulations. You are tonight's uh, you're tonight's ticket giveaway winner. Uh, I will include you in on the list for the end of the stream. Uh, we've got a few people other I, I need to add to the list before the end of the stream as well. So that's good. Let's that back 
Uh, and I want to do this. Right, cast. Yes. Okay, if I paint it, will it work? Five, okay, 500. Seconds. Yeah, I think all oh, the painted worn off. <laughs> hey, you sure have to welcome along. First ever, nice. Oh, I've done something that annoys the hell out of me. Left my mouse cursor in the wrong place. Right. Okay. So. Park this up. We're going to have to go and do... So we're going to be using the... Um, let's move the 7810 out of the way. Uh, we are going to be using the, uh, the smaller T7. Because uh, we're going to go and do some fertilizing with it in a minute. Welcome back, Master Ferguson Man. Woo! Not paying attention to me yet. Can you imagine if we get a, if we got an HD? Putting these three tra those three tractors together would be insane. I think the HD is worth a lot of money, though. All this brings... <laughs> I like my New Hollands. Um, yeah, how much? So the HD is a large, isn't there? It is. So that's the standard version. Do I have... No, I don't have the modded version. But that is 240,000. We do not have that kind of money. Right, we gotta go down to the shop with the trailer. See if we have anything to pick up. Uh, aren't I going to replace the muck? Oh, I am gonna replace the muck spreader, just not right now. I don't think we have, how much is the muck spreader that I want? Ooh, there's the beauty. Uh, 31,000, it's not 79,000 more. This is the max spreader I want. What's the difference? 16 meters, 12 meters. Okay, so that'd be a 16 meter spread. 40,780. How much are the dump trailers? The dump trailers are expensive. Uh, so the Roland dump trailers, yeah, are 36,000 for an 11k, uh, for 11,000, and then 66,000 for a 15k. Ooh, Ian. I look forward to said message. Bye, John Brock. Yeah, it's, it's, so I did ask, uh, I did ask, um, the guys who created it, uh, and, uh, and basically the reason why those trailers are so expensive, uh, is because of all the extra hydraulics and everything. But yeah, they, you must really, really want those trailers. <laughs> we need to, I think we need to give our fruit trees some, um, I don't know how to do the fruit trees, actually. Do I use shaders? No, Red Rust. I don't use shaders at all. I will say Eddie's going to be driving uh, Defender 90, but it's it's going to be driven on the wrong side because it's going to be his one from Balan Craig, but it's going to have the thing on the wrong side. Uh, dump trail is more expensive because yeah, yeah, they are they are heavier duty trailers but it's it's yeah it's one of those things where I looked at them and went is this right I'd get the 225 smaller instead of an HD disturbed in the fruit tree bit I will have to check that out or just work it out for myself right uh, I am in the wrong place I do not want to be here Yep, 
Yeah, stick to your herbs, which makes sense, JC. Oh. There's some nice stuff coming out the, the next few weeks. How's your show? Doing well, thank you, big uh, Frida210. Uh, Doing very well. Um, the lighting I'm liking. We've got more work to do. It's a little bit dark, but trouble is, as you'll see, if I adjust it. Oops. Oh, my new, the new Wi-Fi arrives tomorrow. I am so excited. So if I take the lighting up, is that, you see, that's a little bit too washed out, a little bit too bright. Maybe that's a better level. Because I have key light air that I control with my phone, but I'll soon be able to control it with the stream deck, which is cool. Uh, once I get it all on the same net Wi Fi network. Okay, so. I think must have a thing of bits back at the shed then, if we've only got one left here. just slot in. There we go. So yeah, that's not empty. So we must have more down at our uh, at our shed. Someone suggested we put a second shop in or we might go and buy some uh, space to put a second shop in. Yeah, the Herbist is 20k cheaper and holds more. Been trying to decide what uh, what Eddie's going to have on uh, on the northern coast. What brand of farm? Is well, that's the question I've got, Evan. Um, so it's Irish. Uh, Eddie tends to have a mix of tractors. He n has previously gone for... So he had a JCB, a, um, a TW15, and a... Um, TW15 and a... Um, and a 7810 John Deere on Ballincrake. Now... I think the storyline is, is definitely going to be along the lines of they've still got Ballin Craig and his brother's doing it. I think they're going to buy the new farm having given up on doing pigs. I've got, I've got a couple of good fast tracks. Is it just... Oh no, there they are. Is that a, oh my god that's a full thing of honey that needs to go down to the shop i completely forgotten we've done a full uh no we got i got enough t7s here uh we might have uh we might have an old uh 7840 on there though i am ready for the news of the week ian roberts we might have something else on there <laughs> oh Do a massy farm on Northern Coast. No, I think I know. I think I know what I might be doing on Northern Coast. I also think I might know what's coming to. Um...
No, I don't want to do that one. There we go. Let's cut that down. Right, uh, yeah, we need to. We probably need to get the honey in. I think it's going to make something of my week. Right, there we go. Do I need five minutes? Maybe. <laughs> Upload tomorrow. Oh man. You don't know you don't know how whether you do because you can see the smile on my face. How how I, where am I going? I'm even driving the wrong place because I'm distracted. Right, let's go. Looks like it's 28 minutes past. It does not feel like half past ten. Will I be able to sleep tonight? I need to sleep tonight. I've got to be up at half five to record tomorrow's six ashes video. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, Ian. Absolutely. Well, if you want somebody to test it, and do you a first look and things? Hey, physics time, people! We need to undo these straps before we put them in place. Which is why this gets clipped. Oh. Just get in that box. Begins with David and ends in brown, yes. And gets BF very excited. There we go, right. Okay. There we go. Right. Let's get out of here. Whew. Hey, Simple Gaming. Doing well, thank you. Masters and DBs all in one week. Oh. 
Could do a full pack if you put your minds at. Whoa. Time for a coke, I think. God, that echoes. Everything echoes in this room at the moment. I might try and put up the sound. My trouble is I don't really want to put the sound boards up on that wall over there until I've got the... Uh, until I've got everything sort of... So Whoa! Hedge! Yeah, and then time for cold chat. But there's also the other thing you said about Master and Ian, because... Um, uh, uh, Bullet Bill's not doing one, but I think... I have a feeling that um, uh, Matt XJS has submitted his master to the board tub as well this week, which is an FS19 one. So I'm expecting that to, uh, yeah, I think I'm expecting to see that turn up in the uh, test list. Do you do the flatbed trailer or not? I'm not sure if Marston did do a flatbed. We had we had dumpers and uh, and the grain trailer. Ooh, mod wall. <laughs> yeah, can you get yours up before mine does? Although his is in the test list. Sure they can make one, yeah. Because Marston doesn't exist anymore, so I don't know whether you can get them onto console or not. You could probably certainly brand them as Lizard to get them onto console. Uh, right, we're not... Uh, do I want to... How are our beehives doing? I think we probably do want to go and do that. Get ready for when those are empty again. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, actually, I don't want to do that. I want to go and put some um, spray or spread on the fields. And we need to do that now while we can. Right. What is the state of our fields? So, I think field nine would be a good candidate for this. Yes, because field nine has yet to germinate. So, that's good. Uh, it has... Yep. Yeah. Field 9 is a really good candidate for this. It's time for me to get this over. Right, Mason. Yeah. TBR Eva Saxo, thank you for subscribing. Add tier 1, you've been subscribed for 8 months. You are awesome. Noah Pierce 13, welcome along. Oh, later Ian, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, of course, is my day off. I will be streaming again on Friday. Uh, it is Fallout Friday. Right, where's my hose? Where's my hose? But hopefully, now that we've got half decent FPS, filling this up should be easier as well. has gone smoother already. I need to keep putting my parking brake on here. Oh. There we go. Yeah, this, well, this was always going to be our general use tractor on the farm. Did we get, oh, we haven't got a, let's get a screenshot. 
I'm not sure we've got one yet this evening. And that is a good one. The other side isn't so good. Yeah, that. Filling up. Yeah, so we're going to get field nine done and covered. Uh, thought I'd do manure. No, I want to do. Uh, I want to do this. We don't have enough manure yet. is on the wrong side. Yeah, it's not helpful where it is. Yeah, so we've not got a huge amount of manure yet. So that's that's kind of after this harvest. I'm looking to use that. That looks fertilised. I don't think we can do anything with that. We're going to have to do a crop that's germinated. Uh, we can't do the wheat. So field 25 or field 24. And we'll see if this will break it. Okay, that answers that. We're going to go and try field 25. Now I'm hoping, because the crop is so young, it's not going to be destroyed by this, uh, but we shall see. Otherwise, yeah, we're not going to be able to do this with this. We'll have to do this with uh, solid fertilizer or, um, or spray. I want to get at least one field done with this today. Got a lot of stuff to do. But we do, we have we have all of our crops planted by late spring, which is good news. It means most of our summer we're gonna be able to, to earn money doing grass contracts and possibly some harvesting. There is a, there are still a few couple of harvest contracts kicking about. Right, let's see if this destroys any of this crop. It's not a huge tank on this night. Yes, we're good. No, no. Turn that off. Now we can't use GPS for this, as we discovered before. So. It's not a massive tank on this. We are going to be filling up a lot. I don't think we're even going to get one headland done with this.
There we go. Come on. Oh, fuel for the tractor. No, it's not, there's not a lot in this tank either. I mean, look at that. We're already down to six, five, four, three, two, one, and out. Hold it up. This is free fertilizer, so. It is worth doing. It is realistic, yeah. Ideally, we'd have a second one of these tanks filling up at the side. Or a big tank that we could uh, get this stuff on to. Come on. There we go. Open that one. Open that one. Could any monitors not make the umbilical cord for spreading? I think some people have. Because why digest it and spread and take similar size to it? Yeah. I'm breaking off. I wonder if I can shut this off from here. This will be interesting. This work. Okay, that's full. Did that work very nicely, actually? Over. All of the tracks we had before. And yeah, it's going to take a lot of trips to do this field. And this is one of our smaller fields. That's why I wanted to do field nine, because field nine is right by the side. Um, we'll see what the milk price is like, Evan. It's, uh, I would have sold it this time had the price held. But the, the sudden drop was just insane. 
I mean, we, yeah, it dropped like 500 pounds per thousand liters. It's just, just made it a, a foolish thing to do today. How much will drive? 23,000 liters. So we might, we might end up getting actually a big container. Uh, for the milk or a big um, a big tank trailer for the milk can you spread uh, you can if the ground is um, isn't frozen basically yeah How late am I going? Probably another 10 ish minutes. Um, I want to get this job. I'd like to get this job done if I can. So we'll see how far we get. We've got. I think we might get back round for the second headland finished. Yeah. With, um, with this. Uh, with another full load, and then we just got the field itself to do. Uh, now we got, uh, yeah, we might, we might get more cows. Uh, we'll see how we go. Because the, tr the trouble is, the new cows we buy will take a year to produce milk. I think. I think you basically have to have a cow in seasons for a year before it produces any milk. Um, and we're almost better off just keeping the calves. We will have male calves to sell though. At some point, uh, we'll get them up to twelve hundred uh, pounds and get them sold at that point. And I should be able to not do the front one, but do the back one. It's probably the better way to try and connect this up. Oh no! Uh, and we're gone. But uh. No, I do not want to load it onto that. I want you to plug it. I don't think. Yeah, I can't turn. There we go. No, no, I don't think they're far enough back. Get that to go where I want it to. Yeah, that back off. Do not have patience for this one. <laughs> it's, it's more the angle with this. There we go. Get your angles right and you get your positioning right, you're okay. I'll try. You don't get your uh, 
If you don't get the tension just right, it pops off. I might add the extension. No love for peanuts, but it's peanut fast. <laughs> I agree with you, Bainstorm. I would like to see peanuts in the game. Carrots and onions, too. Carrots and onions, I, can, I can't do them on this map because it's not, it's not quite me. But I would, uh, yeah, I would like to. Carrots and onions is not bad. Because... Yeah, it's It does take longer to fill the spread, yes. It really does. There we go. That off. That off. Next. Switch over to the back. I do like this mass tech bar. Yeah. I it wouldn't surprise me if this is realistic doing it, just going this way like this. It is a uh, it can be a long old job. Which means we're probably doing this on Sunday night as well. But it is the end of spring and we have got all of our crops in, which is good. And we need to get this done before our crops go to another stage. Otherwise, we won't be able to get this on. And we want to use up the slurry as much as possible. Uh, yes, the Mastec bar, like everything with the Abbey, uh, does not work for GPS. No. I like muck carting and spreading. It is nice. Yeah, and the muck, the thing about the muck is we can get that right on the edge of the field. Mind you, we could just get a big tank and uh, stick it on the edge of the field to do this. Which might be somewhere to go in the future. To get ourselves a, a, a tank that we can uh, do. A bit like we had on Little Norton. Is there only anything that's really holding you off? <laughs> yeah, two headlands with this, and then we will go. And um, next time, I think we'll probably do the main body of the field, looking at the time. some point we're gonna have to go and get our hay as well and get that all collected up oh come on get me to the edge uh, back to the start of the field please oh you're not quite gonna do it are you no right let's go part this up down the bottom I don't get on with GPS. I, 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 I get on with GPS quite well. I've, I got to the point where I I know how to control it through this. I know how to control it through uh, through the keyboard really nicely. Um, and I just need to um, just need to, to sort of... It doesn't work with this so well. You have to manually set up things with this Abbey a lot more. But this IB that we've got here is probably about the right size for this farm. I think. Right, let's get this in here. You know, one thing I haven't done is look at our chickens tonight. 
good. this refilled, that will then be in a good place. Hey Jack Morgan, welcome along. And, uh, and that will then I think be a good point for us to finish off. What we'll do is we'll fill this up, we'll disconnect and we'll leave this here and uh, we'll take T7 back to the shed. We should really put our tractor forward. Um, but then this uh, this will be nicely for the slurry ready for us. To, uh, to sort this out next time and finish that field off. I'm not sure we're going to get 100 here. That's a good question, Evan. Right, shut that off. off and that, that, and that. And away we go. So our tractors are all in good nick. Our cows are looking good. Our chickens I think are okay. At least they weren't causing issue. Oh, that's a tight spot. But we can get it in there. There we go. That is off. Those are all looking good. Let's just check our chickens. Yeah, chickens are looking well. So uh, everything's good with the animals. Uh, we've got a field to finish off spreading. You'd have a lot of... That's true. Yeah, no, no, but it was full to the top. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to leave it here. So let's save this like so. Cool. And pause it so that we don't... It doesn't go running off. Let's switch it out to the top here. And I should be able... Oh, actually, that is better with that light, that little bit brighter. It is giveaway time. No, no, we've done. Oh, it is giveaway time. It's giveaway time. But my. Oh, I do have some issues with this setup. Um, one of them is. I sometimes have to unplug the keyboard and re plug it in. Give me a moment. Oh, this is going to be fun. No, keyboard's dead. Fantastic. This is going to make doing the giveaway a little bit difficult. Right, so what I'm going to have to do is, because I can't, I can't actually type at the moment, so the last couple of people I can't add into the list, which is really, really annoying. So I will have to uh, draw the giveaway and, uh, and get back to you guys, because it's... Yeah... My keyboard is not behaving itself. And there's nothing I can do about it. Unfortunately. 
Sometimes the G910 doesn't like to work with the uh, with the thing <laughs> with the uh, with the KBM switch, and so I can't control anything on it. Right, let's get that into there, then, so I can at least finish things off. I should have an emergency backup keyboard plug in, I think. Just so that I've got a PS2 keyboard, I might plug that in and just make sure that I can use that. Um, I will announce it on Twitter and everything when this wakes up. This is really mucked that up. Okay. Fine. Okay, it's, uh, yeah. It's not, it's not paying it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave this here. I am gonna choose who to raid. Oh, we're gonna go and raid the Terminator. Fellow, fellow um, admin, uh, sorry, fellow ambassador for Farm Sim. Uh, go check out the Terminator. He is, uh, yeah, big part of the community, as you can tell. Um, he's, uh, I think he's a former Mixer streamer as well. So go check him out. Head on over with the, uh, with the raid. Um, I will do as best I can, but obviously I can't type at the moment. Um, yeah, check him out. Uh, I uh, will be back on Friday with some full guys. So uh, come and, uh, and join that. Uh, that is going to be a lot of fun. We will be playing with Super Crazy Mark and, uh, and Jesse's again. So uh, that is going to be cool. Um, Tomorrow, I will be back on Six Ashes, so come and join that as well. I will use my phone, Jack. Yeah, I'll use my phone to chat. So, um, yes, we will leave it here. So, uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. Please, if you're here on Twitch and yet to follow, uh, do so. And make sure you have notifications turned on so you never miss a live stream from me. And if you're watching the VOD over on YouTube, please uh, give us a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>